This video is about how to treat and prevent a common condition called Achilles tendonitis. Hello everyone, Dr. Jason West and the West Clinic coming at you with 102 years of healing. I'm really excited to share with you some considerations for chronic tendon problems, specifically the Achilles tendon or Achilles tendonitis. It's the largest and strongest tendon in the body. It's located in the back of the lower leg and it goes down and attaches to the heel. It's crucial as it helps you to walk and run, raise up on your heels. And it's really important for changing a direction and jumping. While this tendon is super strong and can withstand immense force, it's surprisingly fragile and surprisingly vulnerable. Injuries to the Achilles tendon require prompt treatment and everything possible, we want to avoid aggressive medical intervention and we want to avoid ruptures. Now, Achilles tendonitis may be the first sign of a weakening tendon because chronic inflammation, it can weaken it over time and create small tears. Athletes are at higher risk for Achilles tendon injuries, although I've seen a lot of people like they'll jump off the back of a pickup or they'll jump off the step and bam, they have an Achilles tendonitis or sometimes a spontaneous Achilles rupture. Now, you don't have to be an accomplished athlete to irritate your Achilles and tendon because if your foot biomechanics aren't work or other foot bio biomechanics, when you're not pronating and supinating, that means when you're not having the correct movement patterns, it can increase the demand space upon the tendon while walking and cause problem. Now, the symptoms can range from mild pain after running or exercising and usually that intensifies gradually. Sometimes you have localized pain along the tendon. You can actually feel like little bumps that you push on them and they hurt. And tenderness near the heel bone with pain usually worse in the morning and a limited range of motion. You can have swelling and the tendon may become enlarged and develop little nodules where the tissue is damaged or you have these little tears. Now some ideas to make it better. The first thing is it's really important to stretch and get on a strengthening program, changing your ergonomics. It's amazing to me how many times people have bad footwear. We are on our feet all the time and I would encourage you to invest in really good footwear. Now, let's talk about some treatments for the injured Achilles tendon. And usually we start right away with some rest, some ice compression. And the, I think that the most important thing that you can do for any type of tendon problem is two things. One, the mineral manganese I've seen work incredible miracles in clinical practice because manganese really helps for tendon health. The other thing is you want to make sure that you have strong bones and calcium pangamate, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, and an acidic stomach, which helps to break protein are really, really important. The other thing that's really important is calcium metabolism. So if we break that down, you have to have an absorbable calcium to put in your stomach and there has to be some acidity in the stomach. So you break down the calcium. Vitamin D3 literally takes calcium out of the stomach and puts it into the bloodstream. And vitamin F and vitamin K2 help to get it into the bones to activate. Now, sometimes doctors don't or people don't recognize that vitamin F can also be known as bioflavonoids this comes out of some really, really old literature that I really enjoy reading. The vitamin F gets the calcium out of the bloodstream, puts it into the bones, and then menoquinine, also known as vitamin K, starts the calcium reactivation. So if you have your Achilles and it's attaching to the bone and the bone is soft, it'll pull that bone away. And then literally it's like an avulsion fracture or micro fracture. It can cause Achilles tendonitis. So strengthen the tendon, stretch the tendon, make sure that the tendon is healthy, but also make sure that the bone is healthy. Now there's some really neat non-surgical, non-anti-inflammatory treatments called regenerative injection therapy, where you can actually inject a vitamin solution into the tendons. There's a treatment called neural prolotherapy, where you take dextrose 5%. You can feel the little nodules in the tendon. You can take a little tiny needle, inject those nodules, this is based up on the work of John Lifkoff. It's amazing, amazing work. Big props to him for bringing that to America. And also things like prolozone therapy, where you're using a proliferative agent using oxygen, neural therapy, how you reset the nerves. There's some really neat vitamin injections that are available. So this is Dr. Jason West talking about Achilles tendonitis, not only how to treat it, 
but some in-office treatments and some home therapies. Remember manganese, your bioflavonoids, vitamin K2, and absorbable calcium really help from a nutritional standpoint. Strengthening and stretching the tendon are vital so that re-injury doesn't occur. This is Dr. Jason West, and we'll see you on the next video.